Okay, I was given the assignment of translating my Hillary for you, and uh, she is a complicated woman. Right now, she begins off by talking about all faiths of the world, and they need to be respected. So, if somebody had a faith or belief in Satan or something and killing people, you've got, we got to respect that. Or Islams who have to be at war without all of the faiths. <laughs> And the face is, I think about the face of the giant 10,000 year old statue, which had an Asian face on it, and they had to take that down. The Islams felt that was wrong, to have something so marvelous and wonderful, so they destroyed that. That's when I first heard about the Al-Qaeda and their activity. That's when I, at first I think most of the world found that these are bad people, a long time ago. They were destroying 10,000 year old statues, I don't know how old they were, but they were ancient statues. And uh, she wants us to respect them, okay? Believe me, it's going to be really hard translating this crazy, wonderful lady. Uh, it's going to get pretty thick, because it starts off with, let's respect all faiths. No matter what, and it's all about with them. Let's respect me because of my title. I'm, I'm the state, uh, Secretary of State, respect me. I work for the government, respect me. They don't think that anybody has to earn their respect or we can think for ourselves. We automatically have to respect the title. Oh, if you don't respect a person, respect the title. Hmm? Ah, you know, it worked for me for a while. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, well, let's get on with this. I'm getting off point. Let's listen to more of her talk about the faith. Faiths around the world must be respected and protected. We believe that through good faith negotiations, the parties should mutually agree on an outcome that realizes the aspirations for both parties, for Jerusalem, and safeguard its status for people around the world. It seems to Hillary that, you know, Israel is more about the world than Israel. A lot of children in Israel are getting killed. A lot of Jews. It's, that's not important. That's not a reason for it. That's the most important reason, but not. Let's examine the world and what's important to the world about why the Jews should move over for Arabs to occupy their land. To let Arabs occupy Judea. Crazy thought, but that's what she wants. Because the 20 Arab states that exist, there's not enough room for the Arabs and all that vast desert land. They need more desert land. And I've been to Israel. It's hot. Hot and oh my gosh, it's a desert. It's horrible. <laughs> I mean, it's nice by the beaches. Mm, Tel Aviv's nice. Um, okay, I'm getting off the subject again. Let's get back to this crazy, whacked out bitch. I mean, wonderful Hillary. Wonderful Hillary. Let's get back to her and uh, all of her excitement and, and glory about how the world is more important than this Israel child. That's, go, go see one of them at the hospital. I'd say go visit Israel and see some of the mangled children. You know, it's probably she loves it. She probably sits there and watches videotapes of mangled children, thinking how wonderful it is. What are the world's more important? Issues are woven together. Considering the larger strategic picture makes it easier to weigh the compromises that must be made on both sides yeah. and see the benefit. There's a big picture. It's called oil. And it's all about strategy and oil. Come on, let's make the decisions based on that. You know, at least he's being honest. You know, I could say this for this crazy, hateful, Hitlerish bitch, that she's actually openly being honest. She says, you know what, we're basically making these decisions based on strategy. She doesn't say the word oil, but everybody implicates what's the strategy in that region. Oil. So it's pretty, it's, it's, it's relieving that this Tammy Wynette, stand by your man, housewife, I mean, you, I guess in this America, you run for office, and if you don't win, your opponent can say, hey, you know what, you're the best in the world at being a diplomat. You're a great diplomat. Wonderful how they've just been dropping like flies around the world. Wherever she shows up, there's surely, uh, what was it, 100 people died in Dubai or whatever? Oh, she's a wonderful, wonderful. She reminds me of somebody. You know, this horrible, hateful person. Okay, I'm getting off subject. Let's keep on the interpretation. Gained. 
We are not moving forward in a vacuum. From day one, the Obama administration has recognized the importance of making progress on two simultaneous... And uh, okay, day one. He had a lot. We know about Mein Fuhrer, Obama. He has a lot to say about what he wants to do as his top priority. He has a lot of top priorities. Okay? I just remember when he announced, it was about two years into his administration, he says, oh, I'm going to make jobs my number one thing. Jobs are going to be my number one thing. And uh, the next day, he says, I'm going to solve peace in the Middle East. I'm like, they're going to think you're crazy, my name. You've got to hide the little, you know, crazy things that might be occurring. You know, we learn to hide these crazy things. Sometimes they come out in other ways, but we try to hide these crazy things. And uh, nobody else blinked an eye. One day I'm going to solve the jobs. The jobs still haven't been solved. Uh, actually, we're up at 9.6. Now they're down to 9.4. Anyways, we're way off the subject now, but we're back to how wonderful he wants to address the job issue. He didn't do that. And the next day he says, I'm going to solve peace in the Middle East. What a nut job. But he's mine Fuhrer, Obama. He may be nutty, but I love him. Like a cookie, like a delicious cookie. You want it nutty. A little history on this first before we go in further on this interpretation. Let's make sure we understand one thing, is that if you look at Judea, which Hillary calls the West Bank, what do you see in that? I mean, I play a lot of war games, <laughs> believe me. Occupation. And what would you see an occupation surge look like? Just like what they call the West Bank. It's like you have 20 Arab states and you have one tiny, there's only one Jewish state in the world. It's very tiny. And when you look on this map and you examine it even closer, you look at the West Bank. It's very tiny. It's called Judea. And for, what's the history of this country? Oh, this is the birthplace of the Jew. So here's the setting of this interpretation where this wonderful lady wants to move, mass move the Jew, like my grandfather mass moved Jews, wants to mass move them out of Judea, the birthplace of the Jew, which she calls the West Bank. She'll never call it Judea. It would, it would wreck her little ideological Tammy Wynette stand by your man. Lunatic. We love her, but loony position. Let's continue with this, as hard as it is to swallow parties and institution building that helps the Palestinians as they prepare to govern their own state. Improvements on the ground give confidence to negotiators and help create a climate for progress. And just said that they will take care of their own state, which is in Jordan. The Palestinians can go back to Jordan, live with the king, have a wonderful time. That's their Palestine. It's in Jordan. But a British officer told, you know, said long ago, hey, here's where the borders are drawn. Everybody knows that. Everybody, all the Arabs, all the Jews, they all know that a British guy, a, a gay British guy, <laughs> drew the lines. And Palestine is in Jordan. It was just this modern thing about oil and land. We're good to get to where Palestine is, but yeah, they should go, go, go live in Jordan or any of the other 20 Arab states you came from. Go live there. Plenty of room. <laughs> it's absurd, isn't it? They put their children through this. That the Arabs would put their children through this. At the peace table. So even as we engage both sides on the core issues, with an eye toward eventually restarting... Yeah, let's keep an eye on both sides. Because one side wants to blow you up and kill you, and the other side just wants to live. Remarkable. Unbelievable. We better keep our eyes on both sides. <laughs> Let's be fair about this. Huh? Oh wait, she's coming from the country that's constantly being attacked. They have people in Afghan. Oh my god, I better put my coffee away.